Yeah, I have. Yeah. High school, college, NBA. <laughs> I've been a part of a lot of games like that. In, in terms of in terms of the extent of the longevity of back and forth with the Lakers. I've been a part of those games too. High school, college, NBA, um, as a coach, assistant coach, head coach. And so um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, Alabama made one more play than we did. And, you know, walked in the locker room and the, a number of the guys had their head down and I told them to pick their head up. I said, I'm just as disappointed in terms of the final outcome, but I can't, I can't be any more proud of them about the way that they competed. And I said, you know, for whatever reason, the ball didn't bounce our way and that's life. Sometimes things don't go your way. And so when they don't go your way, you have a choice. And I told the team, you can whine and complain and point fingers and make excuses and stay down, or you can get back up and compete and fight. And that's what this program and this is what this team has always done. And, and we'll continue to do that the remainder of the season. I'm very um, pleased, happy, proud. Everybody that went into the game made an impactful play. Um, you know, Will Shaver came in, knocked down two free throws. How big was that? And we had uh, Pete and Armando in foul trouble in the first half. And so you know, there's a number of things to be encouraged about. Obviously, I'm very disappointed in the final outcome, but there. CL there is, there's a number of things that I'm very proud of them and uh, very encouraged about. I also wanted to ask specifically about Nate Heath um, and his defense early on on Brandon Miller. Uh, that and foul trouble, he never really got into a groove offensively. <clears throat> Look, I, I know that there, there's, first of all, um, Brandon Miller's a pro. <laughs> Plain and simple period at the end, he's a lottery pick. Um, I know that there's other defenders, good defenders in the country. I know that I'm biased. I don't think there's anyone better than Leakey. And he's just amazing. I mean, all it, throughout his entire career, uh, specifically this year, leading scorer for College of Charleston, got nothing against Leakey. Um, leading scorer for James Madison, nothing against Leakey. You know, and the job that he did on Tyler Roberson, who's an unbelievable player for um, for Portland. And so I just, he did an, um, he did, I was so proud of him defensively. And the reason why um, Brandon struggled from the floor was because of the defense of Leakey. And Brandon's a fantastic player. Cooper, do you leave out of here with Rudy? Nope. Nope. You're not going to leave? <laughs> no. No, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> so you leave out of here with, in, in terms of things to clean up, like late clock execution. It is, yes. That's one of the things. Uh, there's, there's two things. One, um, you know, you, you, yes, late clock execution, um, something that has got to improve and get better. Let me stay specifically with that. A lot of late clock execution, you know, good or bad, really comes down, does the ball go in or not? We had a number of looks in those situations, mid-range jump shot, three, that normally we make, and we just didn't make it. And so it's a make or miss game, make or miss league. The other place that we have to clean up is I think we're a really, really good defensive team for the first 20, 25 seconds. It's those late shot clock, just trying to stay disciplined. Um, in terms of our technique and things that we have to do. Um, but I was really, uh, those are two things that we need to clean up, but I, I'm, I am, I'm very encouraged about a number of things. What is your philosophy on this Laker game and all this exactly? What do you want, what do you want out of this? I want a made basket. I, I do, I want a made basket. You know, a lot of, um, I felt like we, you know, um, obviously in those situations, um, want to attack the basket. Um, 
because I feel like we have guards to be able to do that and be able to score and get fouled. But you have to compliment Alabama. You know, they've got 6'10 and 7-footers in there. So that makes it difficult to get into the lane and finish. But I, I felt like we had a number of chances to win the game. We had open looks from three, from mid-range. We just didn't make them. And at the end of the day, we had our chances, and we just came up short. Well, I'm a positive guy. I just, I like being positive. Like, after seeing, I know we, we left this tournament one and two, but why would I be discouraged about the way that we competed and played? That would, that would be negligent on my part to walk away and think that this is a disappointment. Second of all, it's only November. We've played seven games. I think we have a lot more to go. And so uh, it's a long season. I feel like we're ta taking steps forward to be the best that this year's team can be. And I'm very encouraged. And But I'm always a positive guy. I don't look at it from a negative standpoint. I was um, disappointed in a couple of the outcomes. But I leave very encouraged. How, how do you figure things out here defensively? Obviously, yeah, Mondo on the bench at the end, and Petey's probably a little more comfortable at the five defensively. Mm -hmm. How difficult is that going to be for you to figure out this year? Certain teams, it's going to be tough to put those those two together defensively. I don't think so. You know, I you know I, I one of the things that I think saw today is you know when Pete was in there, especially towards you know the overtime. You know, we were switching one through five. And, you know, one of the things that Pete can do is, you know, he can guard guards out on the perimeter. He has length, he has athleticism. And so it was very difficult for them to score on him. And so, um, um, and Armando, I don't know when he did, but um, he twisted his ankle. And so he was hobbling a little bit. And so, but Armando, I like the way that he plays defense as well. I don't feel like it's a problem at all playing them both together. I, I don't defensively. I think it actually is good. Um, um, but I was really pleased when uh, Pete was in at towards the end of the game and we were switching everything and the things that he was doing out there on the perimeter against some really, really quick Alabama guards. Take two more, please. Do you have any help updates on these two players? No, I don't. I mean, I'll, I'll get them when we get back to the hotel room and I'll talk to the trainer. Um, I think mostly, you know, the guys are disappointed and tired. <laughs> and so I'm glad that, you know, um, you know, we don't play till Wednesday uh, against Indiana. And so, um, but I don't have any update right now. I'm sorry. But once, once I do, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Two more. Adam, then Brennan. Hubert, you mentioned Will Shaver. I mean, at the end of the first half, you're throwing Justin McCoy in there, Andres got in there, and Will, like, what was going on there that you were seeing where you were sort of shuffling those guys in and out, and like, what was happening there? Well, it was, you know, I, you know, Armando and um, and Pete were in foul trouble, and Alabama was so big, you know, we just we just couldn't go small. We needed somebody that had a chance to be able to rebound and. We put uh, Justin in there, and then you know, with with Dontres, his athleticism, and then um, we felt like with their size, we were still even too small, and so we put Will in there, and he was able to get fouled and make two free throws. I thought that was huge. That, that, that that's a tough situation to be in. I thought he responded extremely well. Last one, Brent. No, it was organized. I mean, it's, you know, it's it's hard. It's probably the most difficult place to throw a ball in bounds in a deep corner. Um, but I knew exactly what to draw up and what to do in order to get the ball. The ball was supposed to go to RJ. 
And so we had uh, Puff go to the other side. Uh, Caleb was supposed to curl around. As he curls around, then Leaky was supposed to get RJ. And then RJ come to the ball, so we have three options. We had RJ coming this way, we had Leaky coming towards the ball, and then we had Caleb right there, and so we had three options. Um, I know there was some contact there, a lot of holding, different stuff like that. Um, but um, we had the play that we wanted. And as soon as um, I wanted the ball in the hands of RJ, um, <coughs> I felt comfortable with him to be able to create and be able to get a shot for us to win it. All right, thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank we'll uh, Thank do you. a Zoom Thank from you. Bloomington on Tuesday. I'll let you know.